Are you coming, Lynn? I'm right behind you. All right, where are we going today? Just a while. National Park. National Park. So what are you going to see there? Cactus. What kind of cactus? Tomorrow. Oh, good guess. Any other kinds? Yeah, probably. Uh, we'll probably see a barrel cactus. Probably see an ocotillo. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Channel Recording. Start. Three channels started. Three channels started. Excuse me? You didn't take a picture of the sign. Yes, I did. Did you? Oh. I took a picture of the sign, I took a picture of you, and I took a picture out the back window. All at the same time. Rincon Mountain Visitor Center. Well, should we go in the visitor center and see what's what? Sure. Well, we're with uh, nephew Pat today. Last time we saw Hello. nephew Pat, we were in Mexico. And a few days ago, he was doing this in New York City with the Statue of Liberty in the background. So I just asked the ranger if it was okay for me to film in a national park and put it on YouTube. She assured me that as long as it was just me and not a big production crew, that I didn't have props or anything, that uh, I would be okay. So we'll take a good look at Saguaro National Park today. Total Monday, we've seen bunches of those. Puma. Haven't seen one of those in a while. I've seen tracks. Tracks like that, only much bigger. That's not as big as it would be, I don't think. That's the cat that I saw in Mexico with my security camera about a month ago on YouTube. This is my carport security camera at home in Ajijic, Mexico. Where am I from? Uh, oh. Let's mark Lake Chupala. Have you seen me? Saguaro National Park is on the search for Gila Monster pictures and we need your help. Snap a photo and note the time, date, and location. Please be as specific as possible. Okay, I'm going to snap a picture of this. And I'm going to say I saw it on the billboard. 
prickly pear. Huh? They need to change that to dead prickly pear. And the choya. It's not looking good. And the ocotillo. It's, wow. It's all really dry. I wonder if they have like a park rule that they can't water their cactus. Hmm. Pin cushion. Cabeza de Viejo. That'll be head of the old. Barrel cactus. Palaberde. Means a green stick in Spanish because the bark is green. Staghorn Choya. People sometimes call that jumping Choya because they think if you get close to it, it jumps on you, but it doesn't. Soap Tree Yucca. Mesquite. It's that tree there. The wood's really hard. You try sawing mesquite. You gotta sharpen your saw later. They didn't label this one. It's an agave. If it was blue agave, you could make tequila. I've never asked been I've never been asked for my ID. Station is closed. Pay here. We don't have to pay. We didn't pay because we don't have to. Pat and Lynn both have uh, access passes. And I have the senior pass. We get in for free. Hi, here's taking your picture. Hi, George. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you were here. George is home with his mom in New York. Uh, that's George who ran around with us in Mexico. He's uh, seven then, eight now, I think. Where have all the saguaros gone? There we go. In 1937, there were freezing temperatures in Tucson, and several years later, they started dying. They thought it was a cactus blight, but in 1962, there was another freezing cold spell. And they figured out that anything below freezing for 20 hours can kill saguaro. That would be Tucson down there. Okay. And Mount Lemmon. And the Catalina Mountains over there. Well, that's a pretty neat view. Break now. <laughs> Break what? That would hurt on a bicycle landing in that cactus. Uh, yeah. You know, I have hill descent in this thing. You know what that is? Yes. I was demonstrating it once over by American Girl Mine in California when I first had the Jeep. That's, that was like, look, Ma, no hands on your bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of guys watching me. I stuck my foot out the window just to show that I wasn't didn't have my foot on the brake. And I ran off the road
What'd you say, Lynn? You know that uh, place that we stopped and stayed overnight and camped? You got, got to narrow it down a little bit. We stayed overnight and camped that a lot of places. Huh? Oh, Picacho Peak? Picacho Peak. Yeah. Had more cats. A little different than New York. Yeah. <laughs> holes in the cactus there made by cactus wrens birds that make their nest cactus condominium the woodpeckers they make holes and there's the uh, wren cactus wren these are big old saguaros though yeah. and as you look out there there's a bunch of them Here's a you are here dot right there southern Arizona have you identified him yet bird watchers with the name like Mike of you there would be a lot of mica yeah, well, around. Do you know that? <laughs> do you know that we used to own a mica mine? Uh, no. You didn't know that? No. We've come to the end of two miles of gravel road, and uh, the name of the lookout place here is Mica View Picnic Area. I'm not sure why they would call it Mica View. I haven't seen any mica. We used to own a mica mine up in the Black Hills in South Dakota. It was a couple of uh, building lots that my grandfather owned. And uh, he went up there one time and found a guy with a bulldozer uh, taking mica out of the side of the hill and loading it into a truck. And uh, I think this was like many, many years ago, price of mica was probably like four dollars a ton or something it wasn't a lot of money but um grandpa made a deal with him he wouldn't report him to the police about stealing mica if he'd build him a little dam which he did with the bulldozer so anyway we owned a mica mine stop invasive plant hitchhikers Use this boot brush before you hike, okay? So you brush off your boots. I don't have boots, but it'll work. So that you don't leave anything else. And I see that somebody else left a choya there. Don't touch that, it'll go with you. What'd you see down the path? More cactus. <laughs> Although apparently, I don't know, the sign says there's cactus forest 0.8 miles. 0.8 miles. Um, that's not far. You want to walk a little? Sure. dry out here. I guess that's why they call it the Sonoran Desert. What do we have here? You're asking me dog or bear? I'm thinking inconsiderate tourist. I love dogs. I don't like stepping in that. We discovered why it's called mica viewpoint. There's your mica. It's that sparkly stuff.
this long stuff here. It's called Ocotillo. Which one? Well, we passed one. I'll show it to you again. This the the really tall, long, skinny stuff right there okay. on your side. Yeah. Ocotillo. Okay. In this in the uh, springtime, every one of those will have red flowers all over. Them. Okay. They're really pretty. They're referred to uh, colloquially as Mexican barbed wire. I'm not going to run over the bicycle. <laughs> not going to run over the dogs. Not going to run over the bicycle. What's the choice? <laughs> well, got a little more interesting here with the curvy road up, going up to the side of the mountain. leopard frog to me. What does it say? Oh, I was right. Leopard frogs are rare and declining. There's a view. Tucson in the distance. Let's see where uh, there's a wash coming down. When it rains, it starts way up there, comes around the back of that, and down. All of the very tops of the saguaros are white. What's the deal with that? Don't very often get to look at the tops. Hmm. A lot of needles. Is that what it is? It looks kind of fuzzy. New stuff. Havelina. Got a lot of those on the ranch. Got too many of these squirrels. Scorpions. Got a lot of those in Mexico. So this is called Javelina Rock because it looks like a Javelina or they frequent this place. I don't see any Javelina tracks. All I see is tennis shoe tracks. Always got to see what's over the hill, don't we? Over the hill and around the corner. The two biggest things that keep you going. Wow, this is neat. What do you think? You want to live here? Thinking about it. <laughs> you never have to mow the lawn. <laughs> lizard, lizard. Where'd you go, lizard? Little lizard, not a Gila monster, just a little lizard. Yeah, he's hiding.
Choya. like the end of the trail for me. Don't want to get in the middle of that. Avelina Rocks. Saguaro National Park. There's nephew Pat standing on the highest point, taking a picture of Tucson and the Catalina Mountains across the valley. Well, look here. Fruit on the Choya. We've done the eight mile one way loop. We're back on the two lane and we're leaving the park now. Well, let's go to town and have some lunch. And we're going to one of our favorite Thai restaurants for lunch, Lucky's in Vail. Oh, we have pictures of the meals up on the wall. Let's see what we like. like me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next please share me with your friends on social media thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today